I'd just like... Oh, sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. I'd just like to say a few words before I spend the next 40 years listening. <laughs> My name is Shana Kane and I am a certified marriage celebrant, duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. Welcome to Caversham. In this breathtaking setting, we will see Carl Morgan and Alan Marie Salivas join together in marriage. And to our parents, Philip and Deborah, and Othena and Irene, welcome. Literally, this day wouldn't be possible without you all. <laughs> you can laugh. <laughs> Your daughter and son are proud to have you all here today. And they are thankful that you've shown them what love is so that they can share a love like theirs today. And finally, I want to thank you, Carl and Alan, for being my best friends over these many years. You both look amazing, you've done well, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the future has in store for you as a married couple. I'll be right here beside you for the whole ride. Now everybody, raise your glasses for the Morgans and let's party! Yeah. Yeah. How can a father prepare to accept the fact that he's no longer her main man? How can a father expect except that he's been shunted into second place. How can a father be prepared to give up the very thing that's completed our family? I just can't. Carl, I'm gonna ask you two things. Love and look after the most precious thing in my life. They're the two things I'm gonna ask you. Ellen, I want you to remember something. No matter your surname, no matter your age, you will always be my baby girl. Mum and I will always be, will always love you, Georgia, and we will we'll always be with you. While you have given your heart to Carl, save a little space for me. You're the best decision I ever made. <sighs> anyway, Mum, now as I promised, I am. Um, Explain why I picked that song. It, it's hard to translate a Greek song into English um, without sort of taking some liberties with the um, lyrics and to, um, to keep the same sentiment. I would like to thank my parents, mum and dad, Thank you for all the sacrifices you have made to make me the man I am today. You are two of the hardest working people I've ever met. From long days at work, followed by a passion for nurturing the lifestyle block I know you both love so much. Dad, thanks for my hair genetics. <laughs> or what's left of it. You shouldn't have. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, Alan, Carl, congratulations. Um, you guys are amazing. I don't know how you put up with him, but uh, look, I don't know how she puts up with him. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Nah, congrats, guys. Love ya. Carl, seven years ago, you captured my heart by being exactly who you are today this my sweetest, caring, loving and respectful person I've ever met. You came into my life with the right amount of laughter and joy my sassiness needed. You helped me grow into the woman I am today. You are my partner in crime, the biggest pain in my ass, but most importantly, my soulmate. I promise to be there for you through thick and thin to help you succeed and be your constant equal. Sometimes just a little bit more. 
I vow to honor you, love you, and cherish you as my husband and forever. I love you. I love you with all my heart and stand before fa friends and family sharing the happiest day of my life. I want nothing more than to share my future with you, my triumphs and challenges, my joys and sorrows. Together, we have accomplished so much together. I believe we can achieve all we have dreamed of. From this day forth, I promise to be worth it. Worth the time, worth the energy, worth the embarrassment, worth your love. I promise to always put you first, and on the odd occasion, if you feel like you don't come first, I promise to take you shopping. <laughs> this love is real. It's endless. You are my everything, and you always will be.